Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of The Royal Family. In the last episode of The Royal Family, we had a bit of a sibling rivalry. It's not quite a rivalry yet because Princess Amira is unaware of the situation, but basically Princess Amira is engaged to Prince Johan and Princess May, her younger sister, is kind of having feelings for Prince Johan. In the last episode, they sort of went on a private date and started having a little bit more feelings that started to blossom. So Princess Amira is unaware of the situation right now. She doesn't actually like Prince Johan. She's just arranged to marry him. So we don't really know how she's going to react when she finds out. And then we also had Prince Kellen, their younger brother, went on a date with his future wife, Princess Megan of Oasis Springs. And that went really well and they became boyfriend and girlfriend. So that all happened in the last episode. It's been a while since I filmed an episode. I'm just coming back from Cancun with my friends and my boyfriend. So this is the first episode I've filmed since I've been back. It's been over a week since I filmed anything. So this is really weird for me and I'm still trying to get back into things but I'm really excited for this episode because in this episode I have had a lot of viewers ask for just some more drama so I had this idea it looks like Prince Adrian of Oasis Springs has started to have several women young very young women who he has been flirting with and has a little bit of a romantic relationship with so we're going to check that out in this episode if we have time we're also going to take a look at the noble families and their babies that were born so we can age them up and name them and you can all see what they look like as well. I actually in this episode, so my camera only has half the battery left and I left my charger in Cancun. So I ordered a new one on Amazon. It should be here tomorrow. So I'm hoping I can get as much done and recorded in this episode as much as possible. If I have to cut it short, it is because my battery is dying. So just so you guys know, but before we begin today's episode, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up if you're excited for this episode and let's go ahead and play the royal family. So I think I might have said King, or I might have said Prince Adrian in my intro, but I meant to say King Adrian. So King Adrian of Oasis Springs. So I don't know why he's sad right now though. Sad bomb from emotional quirk. Lost in the family, who died? Wait, did someone like just die? Let's see. Uh, no, Queen Alice has been gone. Lady, oh, wait. Okay, Lady Jillian is the, <gasps> Do you want to go out on a date to castle dining? That's going to be like, oh no. Should he put on a disguise? So yeah, I had one of our viewers say that you can like put them in disguises. And like, this is pretty risky to be going to a, a, a well-known restaurant, but this is one of his mistresses. This happened really fast. She's asking him out on a date. And I think we're gonna say yes. And when we get there, hopefully we can find a mirror and put him in a disguise so no one sees. Cause the paparazzi, if they see him, that's going to be pretty bad. But yeah, so this is Queen or King Adrian. He is married to Queen Lindsay of Oasis Springs. They have four children. So this is like, I mean, I don't know, with him and Queen Lindsay, it was kind of pushed because he kind of found a wife a little bit last minute. So with Queen Lindsay, originally Lindsay was arranged to marry his older brother, King Jared, who was supposed to be the king of Oasis Springs, but he ended up being the king of Brindleton Bay. And then they were like, okay, well then I guess we'll, pr we'll push Lindsay onto the onto Adrian. So then they ended up together. So yeah, that was kind of their situation. Also, it's supposed to be spring right now, although it's snowing here in Newcrest, I guess. I didn't realize that, but um, it's snowing in Newcrest. Also, whose birthday's tomorrow? Oh, his birthday's tomorrow. Okay, so he's gonna be turning into an adult tomorrow. But guys, we made it through the entire winter without anyone dying of freezing to death. So that is like a huge accomplishment for me because in the past few winters, it had been really rough rough winters so yeah so okay so king adrian is here although he's feeling very sad and i have no idea who died i'm trying to see was it marquis was it marquis eliza did she just passed away that was his aunt so maybe it was her that just passed away yeah i think it was oh guys that was like everyone's favorite aunt she was like the cool aunt that everyone loved so much so that's really sad she just passed away we'll have to maybe like i don't know if i'll be able to record this but i want to do like a small funeral or something for her so okay so he needs to wear a celebrity disguise we should probably also i don't think lady jillian so it's it was originally lady jill but i changed it to jillian just because to give it like more of a of a proper name Name. So uh, her name is Lady Jillian. She is the daughter, I think, of either the Marquis or the Earl of Oasis Springs. But her father, I know, did pass away. So yeah, so that is going to be Lady Jillian. So you guys will get to see her 
Prince Johan. Hey, I heard you and Lady Laura a lie are good friends. Okay, it looks like he's getting a lot of calls. Okay, so he's wearing a celebrity disguise. We'll see if he can get away with this. Who is this? Lady Helena Willow. Her dress is beautiful. What? And oh, no, I don't know about her hair, though. I think we're gonna have to change that. But anyway, okay, so let's request a table. Also, this vampire is still here. He was the host last time we were here, too. Who is this? This is, I don't know who that you are. Who are you? You are Countess Olivia Willow. So she, I know, is married to the Earl of Willow Creek, who is right here. Yeah, Earl Peter Willow Creek. So that is them. So, okay, so we are, oh my God, did he just turn into a vampire? <gasps> Guys, our host just turned into a vampire and now he's gone. Wait, is he gonna show us our seat though? I think he is going to go to our table. We were going to our table, so apparently he's showing us our seat. Uh, did we get a table? We did, and it's a super private table too, guys. I wonder if I can like close this off a little bit so really no one sees them. That would actually be really nice. But okay, obviously he has to wear a disguise and I think feel like Lady Jillian knows that too. So let's order for the table. So yeah, so Lady Jillian, she's really young guys. She, I think like pretty much just turned into a young adult. So she is like, I mean, I guess not a lot younger than him, but but still pretty, pretty young. So are this all desserts? I wanna, let's get, let's get steak for both of them, I guess. So we'll do steak and a simpolitan, I think that's what it's called. I don't actually know where she went. I don't see her. Oh, okay, there she is. Oh gosh, okay, we have to pay our bills or they're gonna be shut off in 24 hours. So let's do that, pay, pay bills pay bills okay so after they order they can pay the bills and then lady jillian also needs to come here too i don't know why she's over here but this is her she's gorgeous she i like her a lot she is like she i just bet there's a lot of the girls in oasis springs that have just like the really dark hair and like the blue or gray or green eyes and they're beautiful so yeah so she's one of the ones that he's a little bit flirty with is it also like so Lady Harmony, she's another one who's really, really young, but she is a romantic interest for him too. And then Lady Jillian, and then, okay, so Marquis Clara. So I didn't even, I didn't even try to do this, but apparently she's also a romantic interest. That's Lady Jillian's mother. So that one would be interesting. Oh my God, what? Ew, you guys, he has a romantic interest and a toddler. Are you kidding me? You can't do that. Why is it letting us do that? That is so, so weird. Oh God, guys, King Adrian is a little bit sick. He, <laughs> did you guys know you could do that? That's weird. Uh, that must be a glitch. That is weird. Okay, anyway, so Duchess Blair is another one of his romantic interests. She's also the one with like the dark hair too. She looks, she has like the Ariana Grande hairstyle. I think that's it, but that's like four, five, five girls if you're including freaking the Lady Lorelai, who is a toddler. That's disgusting. That's so, so strange. Did not try to do that. Did not try to get him to have a romantic interest in Marquis Claire either. So honestly, he is just out of control. This is beyond my control at this point. But yeah, I mean, Lady Jillian was the one who asked him out. So he's got like a lot. I don't like, she might end up being a mistress. I think he's going to end up with like a lot of mistresses, you guys. This is so, so weird. Okay, well, I don't know what's gonna happen if Lady or Queen Lindsay finds out. And then some people were saying, like, in our comments, too, like, more divorces and stuff. It would be very hard for, rom I mean, like, now it's not. And, like, I do have, like, the world's being a little bit more contemporary now. But why don't, maybe we should compliment her appearance. Who is this? Are you a paparazzi? Or are you, no, I have no idea. That's a random person. But no one has been coming up to him, so that's really good. Maybe I should put like a little wall here. That would be really cool, actually. But they got like the, sec the secluded seat. I feel like they asked the host, like, we need to be in a secluded seat. So they like brought them there. So that's kind of cool, actually. But okay, so he, oh my God, this keeps coming up. It's really annoying. Okay, so she's very uncomfortable though. Do I just need to make her happy? Make happy. Uh, She might be like, oh, he's also uncomfortable. <gasps> Oh no, from nausea. Did you guys get sick from the food? That is not, not good. Okay, well, so let's see. Let's do a pickup line. And although we're both very uncomfortable, so I don't know, maybe we should end and pay for meal because they're both like sick. Oh, oh, that didn't go well, you guys. That date didn't go well at all. Wait, but if, if he takes medicine, is he gonna feel better? It's just that he's not feeling well, that's why uh no he's not feeling better and she left so that one didn't go very well 
but I mean, he's got other mistresses too, so maybe we should go talk to them. It is 12 a.m. Probably not the best intrude on Duchess Blair right now, so let's go to Lady Harmony's. We're gonna. Should we invite her to hang out here? Let's just. No, wait, she's sleeping, so she's not gonna be able to. Yeah, I don't think she's going to come over. Yeah, she's sleeping. Okay, so we are going to travel to her house. Okay, so Lady Harmony actually lives here. So she's got an older brother, and then her younger sister is Lady Aria. So that's who I had, like, told you guys about before, who I just thought was, like, so beautiful. But so this is her house. So she, it looks like her father died a while ago. She is not the heir. She's not next in line to take the title. Her brother is actually next in line because he's older than she is. But I mean, I'm, she she might like that may, might make her want to try to make something happen with the king. So I don't know these women's intentions if they're like going to try to make them get a divorce. I feel like if one of them was evil enough, they might try to do that. Maybe they might even try to like make something happen to the queen. So he's already met Lady Arya, who looks like she's making a mess right now. So that's not good. He's met, I think her mother, Lady Carla, but where is Lady Harmony? Oh, I'm sorry, not Lady Carla. I think it's, I think it's Countess Carla. So Lady Harmony is upstairs. So we should call her down here. So they just, I mean, they don't have that bit, that much of a relationship. But why don't we ask her on a date and maybe we'll go somewhere private. I mean, he's still wearing a celebrity disguise, so they could really go anywhere. They don't have to go somewhere like too, too private. Oh no, he's dazed now. Why? Drunk? You're drunk? Oh, will it work? Is now absorbing the medicine. Uh, I don't know what happened. Apparently he took too much of a dosage, so that's not, not good. But let's ask out her uh, Lady Harmony on a date. And then I also need to make everyone happy because it looks like he needs to use the bathroom. So we don't want him to do that right now. Okay, so he's asking Lady Harmony on a date. So we'll see if, if she says yes and then react and discuss to what? Okay, well, is she gonna say yes to the date? Awesome. Okay, so we are going out on a date with them. So I'm trying to figure out the best place to go that's secluded. He would, I'm not taking them to the wedding venue. That is not a good idea. We should definitely go into a different different city. Let's go to, should we go to Brindleton Bay? No, we don't want the, the chance of being seen there. Windenburg, oh, should we take him to the Island Bluffs again? You guys have seen that so many times, so maybe not. Maybe here, the Von Hunt, Von Hunt, Hunt Estate? Yeah, let's take her there. Okay guys, so my camera's actually dying at the moment. I think I'm just gonna do the re rest of the episode without a face cam. So yeah, I have the blinking light on my camera on right now. So I do wanna continue this episode. It's like, I would be way too short if I cut it off now. So just cause I don't have my camera battery. So you guys are gonna have to say bye to my face, but I will continue this episode with a voiceover. So we can go ahead and start that. So we are at the Von Hunt Estate. Who is this? Bernard. Okay, so that's one of the ghosts. I'm assuming that is from here. I don't come here often and I always forget the story that comes with it. But yeah, so we are going to, oh, they're hugging each other, guys. Oh, is he still, he's still in his disguise. <gasps> no, no, guys, the paparazzi's here. Oh no. Oh my gosh, she's gonna have to pay off the paparazzi. <gasps> More choices. Um, No, okay, how do, how, why, why can't, I can't do that while disguised. Uh-oh. But why are they taking a picture of us? Is it because she's famous? It must be because she, it must be, blah, 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 I can't talk. It must be because she is famous. So why don't we go ahead then and just like go over inside here so they don't see us anymore. So let, oh God, I forgot you like can't actually use any of these things. Uh, should we just go out here? Or is there like a bed? Maybe they could like, do you think they'd like break the rules and, and like sneak in and, and use the bed or so? Isn't there a bed? There is a bed. Yes, there is. Okay, we're going to break this. I'm going to get rid of one of these here so they can actually get in. And then uh, I think that's all we need to do. So yeah, so I don't know. Can you like, no, you can't lock the door because they don't actually live there. But let's go ahead and have them sit and chat here because I they're, it's getting like really crowded here, guys. Who, who, there's like a bunch of people. And I think it's because Lady Harmony is a B-lister, but, oh, wait. What the heck? Who are you? Get out. What are you doing? Get out. Um, guys, what do I do? He's, I didn't ask you to come and is it because they were talking to each other? Can you leave, please? How do I make him leave? I don't know how. Okay. Um, how do you get out? Get out. No, guys. <gasps> okay, this is a bust. This is such a bust. But we can't leave. Oh my God, they're being followed. <gasps> How do I make her put on a celebrity disguise? Can I do that? 
can you make another sim or ask another sim to put on a celebrity disguise? I don't think so. I feel like probably not. Ah, dang. Okay, we're gonna have to leave. But I don't... Mm, okay, they're in the middle of their date, though. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is rough. Okay, why don't we go somewhere... Ah, I don't know where to go. Okay, so I accidentally clicked modify and cast, and then the date got canceled. So I think we actually should ask her to go on a date somewhere else, because this is crazy guys i was not expecting so many paparazzi it's also like 6 a.m already so sorry this is like not going as planned maybe they should go to this church it's a generic church oh although they're like like cheating and and they probably shouldn't be going to a church oh man i didn't think about that okay well i mean this is the only thing i mean like maybe he could just be taking her here to like go sightseeing and stuff so maybe yeah but they can just do that that's okay okay so there are actually people here and i was not expecting this it does look like she needs to use the bathroom which is what i was trying to make her like be able like i was trying to make her happy before and i accidentally clicked modifying cast so they are just i mean they're here Sh I mean, he's just showing her things i feel like that this is probably not the best place to go <laughs> but we can sit and talk here so sit and chat here and why is she why is she so sleepy? Like, I don't understand. Uh, heartfelt compliments. And then hopefully we don't get a bunch of people coming here. So let's try to do a little bit of romance. Is there anybody here though? Oh, there is people here. Okay, scratch that. Come inside. You guys should go inside. Sit and chat here. And then don't worry about these people. A mixologist? Is there like a bar here? I don't see one. So I don't know why the mixologist is there. You can whisper sweet nothings. Probably not the best thing to be committing adultery in a church, but you know, I don't think Prince Adrian cares at this point. So I, this is, yeah, this, I didn't think about this. This is bad guys. He, I mean, he's kind of a messed up guy apparently because he's got a romantic interest in a toddler. So yeah, okay. Well, discuss interest. Why does their needs keep going down so much? Cheat need, make happy, geez. Okay, so cheat need, make happy. Okay, so is this her cold weather outfit? It looks like a workout outfit. I'm not sure I feel about that. Get to know her and then know somebody else is coming here though. But no one knows it's King Adrian because he's wearing a disguise, so that's the thing. So I feel like he's fine. I don't know who you are though. Who are you and why are you coming to talk to us? Can you leave? Why can't you ask people to leave? Like, I just don't understand why you can't do that. Huh. Like, you, you sometimes can, but not always. So, looks like all the kids went off to school, though. So, I don't want to be in a group conversation. I think we're going to maybe go here and sit together here and get away from this guy. So, yeah. I have no idea why this guy is here. Is that the mixologist? Is he going to come talk to us again? No, you're not allowed. Can I lock the door? Oh, it's a, it's a it's like an archway. Okay, so well, hopefully he doesn't come just randomly join our conversation again. But our date, we already have a gold uh, event for our date, which you guys can actually see because my face cam isn't up. So I th well, he's feeling self deprecating because of the okay from getting drunk. He was actually drunk. That's kind of cool though. But I I wish I guess like days does make sense, but sometimes they'll like. They should feel flirty or something like that from a drink, which is it's usually... Why is this guy following us? Who are you? You're this random person, and I don't know why you're here. I just... I thought people, like, didn't actually come to the generic venues. Oh, gosh. Okay, Queen Lindsay's starting work in an hour, and King Adrian's also starting work in an hour. So we should probably leave soon, but I'm going to get away from this guy because we're just... He's just trying to flirt with his mistress, y'all. Speaking of, maybe we should... Maybe he would kiss her now because this is actually going really well. Like, this date's going really well. So let's have a first kiss then for them. So, guys, Prince Adrian is for sure committing some adultery here. And he is got a few romantic interests, so we might end up, like, expanding on that later on. And, I mean, I don't know if you guys would want to see him flirting with another mistress right now, because apparently he's got a few. We could call up Duchess Blair and see if she would be into going out again, too. But I do also want to show you guys the other noble families. So, why don't we blow a kiss? Should he ask her to be his girlfriend? I don't know. I don't think he'd be that serious about it. Since he has so many romantic interests, I really don't think king adrian is that into this maybe he should <gasps> you guys why don't we do this all right you guys were really asking for this i've got a lot of people asking for sims to have bastard children so oh hey i heard you became friends with prince francis okay um let's take some pay time off and oh but king adrian should take some pay time off too did i say for queen Lindsay to take pay time off i didn't realize that 
What is Queen Lindsay? She's emotional from her menstrual cycle. Okay, so she doesn't actually know what's going on. But anyway, so you guys were saying that you want some bastard children. So I think that King Adrian is going to be doing that. So he is not a good guy. We know that now. We didn't, I mean, King Adrian has never been like that. <gasps> no, no, what? Wait, when did Queen Lindsay get here, you guys? <gasps> oh my God, abort, abort. Does he know? Does she know? He's in a, he's in the disguise right now. Oh my god. <gasps> you guys. Oh, I wish you could see my face right now, guys. Oh my gosh. This has just gotten so so crazy. But Queen L Lindsay, she doesn't know. She doesn't know that they're flirting. She doesn't know that they're a thing. They have to just act normal. Did she must have found out about them somehow because why else would she come here? To the church because this isn't even in their their world oh my gosh you guys oh do you think she knows do you guys oh my gosh she i mean they just kissed they don't know anything else oh my god okay is she angry with him let's see if we do mean they just they just kissed they just kissed in front of lady harmony you guys and she seems okay with it though uh, she seems okay with- I mean, she knows he's married, so she kind of has to be friends. Oh, she has to be okay with it. And now they're talking! And they're friends! <laughs> you guys, this is so weird! Is- is Queen- wait, Queen- she doesn't know Lady Harmony at all, though. Although, Queen Lindsay's going- she has to go to the bathroom. I should probably, like, make her okay with the cheat need. But, oh my gosh, guys, she just took a selfie with Lady Harmony, but they don't even know each other. Maybe he was just introducing introducing her to him. And then, do you guys think, why can't she go home right now? What is happening? Why can't you go to work? Can you go to work? She can go to work. Okay, guys, Queen Lindsay just left. Oh my god, that was a close one. <gasps> you guys, that was such a close one. She just appeared out of nowhere. I had no idea she was there. Do you think they would still try for a baby? I mean, she's at work now. They know she's gone. And they could try for a baby in a bush. Oh my god, you guys, that was so, so, so scary. Okay, but I don't see any bushes that they could try for a baby in. Is there one around here or something? Well, why don't we find out? Okay, so that was an awkward encounter. Encounter. We have to make everything, like, normal again. So why don't we go and sit together here and chat? And, oh my gosh, you guys, did I bring Queen Lindsay here? I don't think I did. That was so, that scared me. Honestly, I was not expecting to see her here. She was just sitting right next to them. That was so freaky. Okay, make a move on Lady Harmony. It says it's an awkward encounter, but things seem to be going okay. You can whisper sweet nothings to her. I think he now is trying to reassure her. That was so close though, guys. It is like so, so ballsy for her to keep wanting to do this after that happened and for him to keep doing this too. But it sounds like he's pretty like, like determined. I think just things haven't been going well with Queen Lindsay. And I think he's just like ready for someone else, honestly. Okay, so they just kissed and then I'm going to see, can they, it doesn't say that they can try for a baby, but I saw that earlier. It says they can woohoo in the bush. So can they try for a baby in the bush? Uh, yes they can. Okay, we're going to see if, I mean, I won't be able to tell now, but we'll find out maybe if she's pregnant or not. <gasps> guys, it's such a big deal. And she's not married either, guys. She's going to be like shunned for being pregnant. Oh my gosh, okay, this is happening. Okay guys, they are almost done woohooing. It looks like this went really well apparently because there are fireworks, so. Oh, and they're like looking out to make sure no one is there. <sighs> guys, this just happened. Okay, so, so they just tried for a baby. No idea if she's pregnant or not, but they have like a really strong relationship actually. Actually, he seems pretty into this. I was thinking like, just because he has so many romantic relationships, he's not going to commit. Oh. Guys, they, they did try for a baby. I feel like they weren't meaning to try for a baby for sure. They probably don't want to get pregnant, but I just wanted to do that because you guys wanted bastard kids. So, Prince Adrian, or King, oh gosh, I keep calling him Prince Adrian. King Adrian is done here. He, and that, that was just one of his mistresses. The other, things didn't work out with one of the other mistresses, but 
Should we go talk to, where, what should I, yeah, Duchess of Oasis Springs 2. So I think he's going to go here as well and maybe just, we'll just talk to Duchess Blair for a bit and see if things would actually go further, like if they would try for a baby. Her husband's home though, so probably not the best idea. We cannot bring them back to our palace because he's got four kids, a butler, and his wife all home, so that would not work out at all. But I don't know, maybe, well, I mean, her husband's not outside right now. So maybe, I don't know, let's see. Offer a gratitude and then maybe offer her a rose or just, let's just try flirting first a little bit. Ask, ask her if she's single. We know she's not single, but we will anyway. So let's do like a sexy po- Although she's feeling uncomfortable, that's not good, okay. Well, let's make that different, make her happy. So I, okay, so guys, I was also reading into, I, I read this book called Elizabeth II. So it was about Elizabeth II, our current queen in England and her family. And I, I saw this thing that like, apparently the, the, like the kings, when they would have mistresses and those mistresses had husbands, the husbands didn't care that they were having affairs, which I thought was very interesting. Although, oh gosh, it looked like their their relationship went down for a second, so that's not good. He's still wearing his disguise too. This is probably really risky because her husband's inside, but they're both feeling very, very flirty. So maybe we can exchange numbers and just take this kind of slow. This one's gonna be a little bit more challenging because she is, she is married, but then again, like, Dude, it's not like we can control that, but like sometimes they would not be opposed to their wives be having an affair with the king, which I thought was so interesting when I heard that. So yeah, okay, so maybe kiss hands because now it's turning into a suggestive conversation and they're both feeling very, very flirty. So this is all happening like right outside her home, you guys. Her husband's home, guys. This is going to be really risky. Oh my gosh. King Adrian is just like, he is he is on a on a spree right now. That's for sure. Okay. Well, there is Duchess Blair. I don't know where her husband is. Why don't we? Let's just flirt, maybe. Let's compliment her appearance. I don't know where her husband is though. I don't see him. Is he upstairs? No. Wait. Oh, did her daughter age up? Lady Lorelai, oh gosh, guys. Oh, she's a child still though, and she they have a romantic relationship. So that's so weird. But her husband's actually not home. Wait, no, is this him? No, that's not him. Yeah, okay, her husband's not home. So this actually might be easier than I thought, but we don't want him to just like walk in at any second because that wouldn't be good. So I don't see him though. So yeah, okay, let's get some flirting out really quickly. Okay, so they are chatting here and they have enough romantic interest to have a first kiss. So let's do that now. Let's do their first kiss. I don't see her husband, so I think we're all set. So the guys are doing a first kiss, oh my god. Oh my gosh, okay. And then since her husband's not home, do you think they would go do things upstairs? I think so, I think so. Okay, we're gonna go do that. We're going to, she actually doesn't like kids, which is why I didn't make them have a second second child because she's not like into kids or what, I don't know what it's called. She's not family oriented or something like that. Or I think it's just hates children is her trait. So if she gets pregnant, it's probably not good, but oh my God, oh guys, he's home. <gasps> oh no, you guys, he's not walking in the, no, he's coming in. <gasps> Queen Lindsay's here. She keeps knowing about it, you guys. <gasps> They're about to get caught. They're about to get caught. She's walking in. I can't control this anymore. She's, she just walked in. Does she know? Oh my God, he's gotta go, you guys. <gasps> No one has gone upstairs yet. Why is she here? Why is she here? She's going to the bathroom though. So maybe he can sneak out while she's in the bathroom. Oh my gosh, King Adrian, you have to get out. No, wait, where's she going? Where's she going? Reacting positively to Sim's presence? Okay, well clearly she doesn't know. She has, wait, where are you going? Queen Lindsay left and King Adrian is leaving, but he's in a disguise. So he like, he just walked right by her. <gasps> he just got away with that. He just got away with that. Did they try for a baby or did I just make them woohoo? I think I made them try for a baby. So guys, oh my gosh. Okay, ooh, that's enough suspense for now, I think. So Queen Lindsay doesn't know. She has no idea still. Oh my gosh, why is she even here? I didn't tell her to come here. Oh my, okay, well, anyway, okay guys, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that was a little bit of drama for you. Queen Lindsay still doesn't know. 
So when they do get caught is when clearly she might like she might try to divorce him or she might turn her head away and not like pretend she doesn't know. But we are going to get some bastard children. That is for sure. So next thing we're going to do, I'm going to go to manage worlds and then we're going to take a look at some of the noble family's kids. OK, so the noble kids I wanted to see is basically we had a bunch of of noble families have babies so one of them was baron matthew and baroness valen so or valentina because that's her actual name so they had a baby so i want to like go and we can go see the kids and name all of them too so we have several several families who have had children which is really cool so we will get to see what names they have see if we want to change any of the names because we also need to give them titles too so we can definitely go ahead and do that okay so it, oh Lord Lucas. Oh, I guess I was here when they had their baby. Lord Lucas. So that's their baby. And I kind of want them to have another baby. So I might have them try for a baby while Lady Ava ages up Lord Lucas. Because I think he's been a uh, an infant for quite some time. So I'll go ahead and age him up. I don't even remember being around when they had their baby and naming him that. So that's interesting. <laughs> but why don't we go ahead and age him up so we can see what he looks like. I mean, probably he's going to be blonde because his parents are both blonde, so not too much surprise of what he's going to look like, but at least we can see. So I, I don't even have to change his name, so that's kind of nice. But Lord Lucas aged up. Let's make him fussy, because I don't make too many of the kids that, and we also don't play with this family. Oh my god, guys, he has red hair! What? Like, like, fire aerial hair. Like, the princess aerial hair. What? How did that happen? Oh my god, I don't think anyone in their family has red hair. That's so interesting. Okay, I was not expecting that, you guys. Yeah, I don't think anyone in their family has red hair. And like that fiery of red hair too, so that's interesting. Okay, so that I was not expecting, but they have had a baby, Lord Lucas. So it looks like they are trying for a baby right now, and we can see if she's also going to be pregnant. So I also, I think Lady Ava, she still has some... Oh no, she's supposed to change up to a young adult now. So it's her birthday, actually. So I, I well... I, I don't really have time to like make her a candle or anything, but she's gonna be a young adult. So she, I was hoping she would be a possible candidate, like a marriage candidate for one of the royals, but she's a, a pretty much a lot older than they are. So I don't think we'll probably do that, but she'll probably end up staying as a noble. I just liked her. She's really pretty, she's really nice. So, I, but it's okay, I guess not. But uh, Baroness Valen is trying for a baby now. So we will get to see if she's pregnant. She's not pregnant. <gasps> Maybe it wasn't meant to be. Uh, well, he's sleeping right now, so we'll try for a baby another time with her, but at least we gotta see her kid, because we really don't have that many redheads in the game. We have a few, but not a lot. So, I, the other redhead is like, let's see, let's go to Oasis Springs. I don't think there's any babies here, but the other redhead family is the Baron of Oasis Springs, but they're like a more natural red hair, whereas Lord Lucas, his hair is like like an aerial red, like a like a cartoon red. So that is really interesting. Uh, but the other babies, I d they might actually just be in. Oh wait, did oh no, she hasn't aged up yet. It's supposed to be Lady Ezra's birthday soon. And she's supposed to age up, so she'll end up doing that soon. But she has not yet. So I think the other babies are in Brindleton Bay. I think there's at least two of them. So we had the Marquis of Brindleton Bay. I Oh, they aged up into kids. Oh, guys. Oh, they're cute. I'm going to have to change their outfits. But it looks like Lord Franklin and Lady Malaya, they had another baby. And I don't know if it's a boy or girl. So we'll get to see now. Okay, so I didn't realize I was traveling, but I forgot to do Manage Worlds, but I feel like that's fine because I'm pretty sure anybody can age up an infant, which is kind of funny. And then we can just go into create a sim with them too. So she's knocking on their door right now, and then we just need to find the baby. So the baby is, let's see. Oh, 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 the baby's in the crib. Okay, cool. Okay, so <laughs> it looks like the baby's also gonna look like their dad. But let's see, what is the baby? Oh, I can't even see what the baby is because she doesn't know the family well enough. So she can't like hover over and see their name or anything. But let's go age up this baby, see what it looks like, see if it's a boy or a girl. Oh my gosh, I just saw double baby. I don't know if you guys saw that, but that was kind of freaky. Okay, so it looks like a boy who also looks like their father. Lord, whoa, wait, was I around when I named them? Maybe I was. I don't remember. Th I must have named him already. Oh, weird. Okay, well, this is their baby who also looks like their dad. So that was kind of a bust. 
I was hoping that it would look like their mom a little bit, but there are other families too. I was trying to just get a little bit more diversity in the game, um, but there are a good amount of other African-American families as well. So I, do, I don't know. You guys can let me know if you think they should have another baby, but this is already their third baby, so that's a lot. So, but yeah, apparently I named him already. So now that I'm thinking about it, I kind of do remember this. It's just been a so long. So the Baron Brinson Bay, they also had another baby. I think they had another boy. And then they also had, and then there's a girl here. This is Lady Marjorie. So the uh, Brindleton Bay Duke and Duchess, they have three kids now. So yeah, so there's a lot of babies going on. So that is their baby. And then we can go age up the Baron of Willow, no, not Willow Creek, the Baron of Brindleton Bay. Also, guys, I totally forgot. Someone pointed this out to me. I still have Philip as, I think, did I make him the Earl? I'll have to check, but someone's title is wrong, so I have to change that too. Okay, so she's gonna knock on their door. We just have, we're sending Baroness Valentina to go just age up all the children, which is just such a funny errand. So I love this house too. It's really pretty. It's like very, like almost Roman. So, like, this is outdoors right here. The, the, like it's a little in between on like their two houses so they have like the living room area here and then like the kitchen is here so that's kind of cool but i think they had a boy i'm pretty sure let's i don't remember their name but we can go ahead and age them up and find out okay so we're aging up their baby i'm pretty sure it's a boy oh no wait is that a boy or a girl it oh wait oh Oh, it's a girl, and I didn't actually age her. I didn't name her yet. Okay, so let's go to Modifying Cast so we can name her. So they had a girl, so that's exciting. That's good, because I think they already have two boys. So she already. Had, so they have two boys. They have Lord Jaden and Lord Andrew. So Lord Jaden's the oldest. Lord Andrew is the second oldest. And then we have Phoebe, which not a, I don't know if I'm a huge, well, I think that's fine. We don't have anyone named Phoebe. So is that how you spell it? Yeah, I think that's how you spell it. So Lady Phoebe Brindleton. And then I think her hair is fine. I just want to change her outfit maybe. There we go. We can have that be her outfit. So this is Lady Phoebe of Brindleton Bay. So yeah. So guys, this is like, I think that's all the infants we have for now. In the next episode, maybe we can find out if if oh my gosh i want to say prince adrian all the time but maybe we can find out if king adrian's mistresses are pregnant so that'll be interesting i think i am going to end this episode here but i hope you guys enjoyed this i hope this is adding a little bit more drama for you guys you can let me know what you think we will also in the next episode focus on the children of windenburg and of course princess amira because she's a little bit out of control so we'll see what happens with them we can also see if anything progresses with king adrian and if queen if queen Lindsay ends up finding out about them as well but but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry I had to cut the face cam off halfway through, but I hope you still liked it. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye!